I'm going to be talking to my sister Amelia Christensen today, who is actually a graduating senior from Plymouth North High School. I will be asking her a couple of questions about what it's been like as a senior during the COVID pandemic. So, Amelia, it is so nice to have you here, and I am super excited to ask you these questions. <laughs> Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. So, can you give me a general feeling of what it's been like as a senior during the COVID pandemic? Um, it is, it's been very hard for me, along with my friends, because our senior year was cut short. And senior year is known as the time to celebrate your last year of high school with your friends mm -hmm. and just show your appreciation for te the teachers all those years that you've spent with them and just say your final goodbyes. But since our year was cut short, our senior year, our final year, we were not able to have a formal goodbye and like walk through the hallways of Plymouth North High School where I mm -hmm. grew up in 2016 and not able to finish it off the right way like everybody else. Yeah, that must have been really hard, especially knowing how many friends and how many relationships you build, not only with the students, but with the teachers as well. And on the lines of the teachers, what has it been like adapting to this new remote learning process? How has that been? It's definitely been very hard adapting from in-person to online so abruptly. Mm -hmm. I'm more so a visual learner. I need a teacher to talk to me rather than me teaching myself in order to learn the material and concepts properly but I was able to create a routine for myself we received all of our work every Monday and we had to finish it by the following Friday by 5 p.m. so I was able to create a routine by making a set class to each day and making sure that I was on time with my work and just each day I would have a set time of when I would want to do the work and then when I would want to finish it. Now, did you have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection with the teachers if you needed to? Did you have any sort of like line to them? How did that work? So on Google Classroom, my teachers would post a schedule when they would be on Google Meets. Mm -hmm. So they would give us a set time saying, for example, 9.30 a.m. They would be on the Google Meet for about two hours. Okay. And they said that they'd always be active and able to answer questions through email. And sometimes my math teacher, she would have... Zoom calls or Google Meets, whatever works easier for people, if we have questions about the material, because we had our AP exam this year. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to be very active with us in order for us to be prepared for our test that we were supposed to take in class. Okay. So they definitely still had that structure for you. Yes. Okay. So that's good. So you said that you had coped by creating a schedule for yourself. Um, have you created any other new habits or hobbies during this time because you have that extra ability and time, not with the same class structure? Has there been anything creative or emotional that's come out of you since this whole thing has happened? Um, I've definitely been able to teach myself a lot easier than I was able to before. Mm -hmm. So I would use Khan Academy. I was able to find a lot of resources to help me. So I found hobbies such as teaching myself a lot more things than I could before. So math, I enjoyed um, using Khan Academy to help me teach myself. Or with English, we would have to read books and researching became one of a hobby of mine because I had to teach myself a lot about a book I was reading and I didn't have my teacher by me. So researching and watching movies to help me through it all helped a lot. So you've been kind of making yourself your own support system in a way. Yes. Who else has been part of your support system going through this? Definitely my friends and my mom, because she's helped me with a lot of how to cope with it, definitely mentally too. Mm -hmm. So with resources such as teachers and my allied health teacher, because I have her phone number, so she's always there if we need help with anything. And my friends... I can always just FaceTime them if I need help with schoolwork or just somebody to talk to. Mm -hmm. So you did mention staying connected with your friends. How have you been doing that, especially knowing that you guys are all going to be going to different colleges at the end of the summer? Um, what's it been like knowing that this is your last summer and you're going to have socially distanced events and experiences? Definitely been very hard because knowing that my best friend's going to Florida, so not being able to see her before she goes off to college mm -hmm. is very hard. But we were able to get through it by just FaceTiming for the first two months of our quarantine and mm -hmm. 
socially distancing by seeing each other just in a car, even in meeting up. And as soon as we got through that, we're just slowly easing our way back into the norm so then we can see each other before college because it's definitely going to be hard if I can't see her when she leaves. So. Yeah, I can only imagine what you're going through. And you've been best, and I know your best friend. You've been with her for so many years and have done yeah. so many things together. So I can only imagine what the two of you are going through emotionally and being so disconnected on a physical level. I mean, we have all the technology that we have, but there's nothing that beats that face-to-face -face interaction that you would have yeah. with somebody. So with that being said, what has it been like not having these traditional events like prom or graduation or even the um, senior hypnotist show? What has been going through your mind as far as like all of those things? I was definitely very heartbroken because having siblings that went through it all and always talking about it and excited for me to get through my senior year. Mm -hmm. So I've always been so excited to have like senior night and senior showcase or hypnotist night because I have had so many friends that are older than me too and my siblings always talking about it and excited for me to have my graduation Mm -hmm. So not having a normal graduation and ending it off right for my form formal goodbye is definitely very hard. But I've been able to get through it by having my friends and family by me and not having um, that communication in person. But mm -hmm. I think the teachers are definitely trying to get us together the right way with this graduation that they're doing the drive-by to have us, to make us feel appreciated more. Yeah, it's definitely uh, relieving to hear that they are doing something and not waiting until the end of the summer where a lot of students wouldn't be able to participate. Um, so it's, it's really uh, a struggle for a lot of students. So yeah, I commend you for being so strong with all of this and taking it with a grain of salt every single day moving forward. I, <laughs> I can only imagine. I mean, I graduated high school years ago, so what you guys are going through right now is just completely uncomprehendable for me. So again, I 100% commend you for this. And because you're a graduating senior and you're going to college at the end of the summer, what are your plans for college? How is that gonna work out for you? So I'm going into the nursing field and I still continue, I'm still going to go into the nursing field. If anything, this has made me want to be a nurse even more because seeing all the nurses that are fighting for their lives and for other people's lives to help everyone has definitely pushed me and motivated me to get my work done in order to become the nurse that I want to be. Mm -hmm. So it has helped me with my college plans a lot, I think, this whole situation. Now, I know you were working with a nursing home that was actually in front of Plymouth North, and you made so many relationships with the actual tenants that live there. How has it been not being able to connect with them? It's definitely been very hard because they're, they're, they've become, like, basically a close friend. Like, I know that they're a lot older than me, but they're very wise, and they've always been there for me, and it's somebody that I can talk to. So not seeing them for months has definitely been very hard. And hearing that we've been having residents passing away and me not being able to be there with them has made it even harder for me. Yeah. So just not being by their side through this has made it very difficult. Yeah. And knowing you for all of my life, you have to be a very special person to give that time and energy to the older generations because it's not an easy job. It's yeah. something that is... It, it takes a lot of strength, not only physically and emotionally, but spiritually as well. You have to be there for them all the time. So, again, huge commendment to you for what you're doing and what you have done. And the fact that you still want to yeah. do it moving forward is huge. So we're going to college for nursing. What college are you going to? UMass Boston. UMass Boston. Now, have you decided what you're going to do as far as like living there? Are they allowing people to be on campus or is it just remote learning for now? Um, at the moment, orientation is online. That's all I know of, but they haven't really given us a lot of information about it. Um, I have a feeling it'll be online for a few weeks, and then they'll try really hard to get us on campus. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to be finding out middle of June, at least, if we're going back to college. Okay. 
Well, hopefully you'll be able to have that college experience of anything yeah. since your senior year so. was taken away. Yes, because <laughs> um, I know you were looking to live on campus and being yeah. there and immersing yourself because you can't really do a nursing program while working from home. The, the hours no. are just, they, they don't mix together and I can, I can only imagine, but with this whole experience, how are you going to look back on it and what are you going to take from it? I think that I will look back at this experience as something that's taught me how to cope with my wellness and my health along with my emotional, mental health and my physical wellness. Mm -hmm. Because this experience has definitely been a roller coaster for my emotions with the nursing home and not seeing my friends mm -hmm. or getting my normal senior year that everybody else has been able to receive. So I've been able to cope with the experiences by staying positive through it all and just receiving support through my family and my friends every minute of the way. It definitely helps to have that support system and everybody's going through some sort of mental turmoil with all of this. Yeah. So again, yes, definitely having that support is so, so helpful. And I'm so happy that I could be part of your support system when Me needed. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so Amelia, I am so happy that you came on today and allowed me to interview you about this senior year, COVID pandemic, everything that's been going on. But do you have any sort of final thoughts that you want to just give out to anybody? Anything that you want to say that you didn't get a chance to? Um, I just want to thank my family and friends for just being there through it all and loving me every minute and just making this senior year normal for me and my sister making me a pretty day when I woke up for the day of pretty day and just normalizing it for me and just trying to cheer me up on that day. Mm -hmm. And all I have to say is just stay positive through it all and then it gets better. And positivity is the only thing that can help you through it all and love and support. So. I absolutely agree with that. So again, thank you, Amelia. We really appreciate you coming on and we wish the best of luck to you. Everyone here at PAC TV thank does, you. myself, the whole world who gets to see this, we wish you the best of luck. So thank you so much. Thank you much. for having me. Of thank course. you.